Hi everybody, welcome back to Tunes91. Today we're going to be doing what I call a 2-4, a twofer. A twofer. So we're going to be doing both Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue for Men and Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue for Women. And I'm going to kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison, what I like about both, what I dislike about both, if anything, and kind of give you my opinion on the aquatic genre as a whole. So, Light Blue for Women was introduced in 2001, far before its uh, brother that was released in 2007. In 2007, Little Brother here won an award for, no, sorry, 2008. In 2008, Little Brother won an award for Best Fragrance of the Year. Um, Light Blue has won a shit ton of awards all together, and it is still one of the best sellers of all time for women and this still does very well for itself for men. Now, the note breakdown for both is actually very similar. Uh, we have the Sicilian lemon, grapefruit, uh, musk, rose, and I believe cedar wood, so they're very, very similar fragrances. Um, obviously one being an eau de toilette and one being an eau de parfum in this particular instance. So, to me, uh, this, this men's version here, I'll go ahead and give this a good old whirl, Okay, light blue for men. So, for this particular one, uh, most people are not going to complain about it. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's an aquatic, it's light, it's airy, it's not going to be in your face, the projection is low, uh, the lasting power is like six, five, four hours, somewhere in that realm depending on your skin or if you spray it on your clothes. Um, it's also a fragrance that is very much in the same vein as Aqua Di Gio, um, all those kinds of scents that are just trying to make it so that everybody, it's we, it's reaching a wide array of people and, and basically I feel like this fragrance is meant for like business people that are going to be in meetings all day long, can't be overpowering, um, you know, you're wearing a suit all day, you're stuck inside of this, this small room with a bunch of people doing whatever kind of business stuff and you can't be overpowering with your scent. So that's what that reminds me of, um, a business person on a summer day, basically, that can't be offending anyone. But that being said, obviously this fragrance is very versatile. Uh, Light Blue for Men is a bestseller for a reason. Most people like aquatics. Uh, I'd say like the whole world, in general, uh, prefers aquatics over any other category of fragrance. And to me, this scent is one of the most subdued fragrances I have ever tried uh, that's in the more popular realm of fragrance, so in the designer end of, of fragrances. It doesn't last for shit on my skin, to put it simply. Um, it lasts maybe three hours, so I just sprayed my hand three times, and it fades, fades away very, very quickly. Uh, it doesn't jump off the skin very much. So I get, you know, three to five hours, depending on how many sprays and, and etc. Again, very versatile fragrance. I'm not going to knock it. Uh, most people would love this. Most people compliment this. Um, one of those that you'd want to pick up for, like, your stepdad or your father or whatever, your brother for Christmas. Most people would like it. Now, the women's version. This... Is probably most likely if not my favorite it's definitely in like the top five realm uh, for fragrances for women now not for myself I obviously I've worn like black orchid whatever but um, to smell on other people I absolutely adore light blue for women I love it and I feel like it's a bestseller for a reason um, if, to me this particular fragrance takes that combination of that very sharp citrus um, and kind of melds together with that woodsy note, that cedar, and musk. So it's just really, to me, it's like a really inviting, sensual, musky citrus. Now, for the men's version, um, there is a grapefruit note, frozen grapefruit peel or whatever the hell it is. For the women's version, it doesn't list grapefruit as a note. It's apples and uh, the lemon. 
very much smell grapefruit in this fragrance. It's like a, uh, a sharp, oh, I'm sorry, wrong hand, jeez. It's like a sharp, watery grapefruit and paired with a nice apple. So the women's version, which was released in 2001, is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite fragrances to smell on another person. Um, if it's not my favorite, then it's my top five. So to me, uh, both of these fragrances open up very chemically, um, and the direction that the women's version heads in is a really beautiful, kind of cold, misty, uh, apple and grapefruit combination mixed with musk and like a cedar wood element that's like peeking its head through just ever so slightly and I absolutely freaking adore it I adore it I think it is one of the most well done citrus based fragrances ever uh, women's and men's alike I feel like a man could definitely pull this off too in the summertime by the way um, I have you know experienced so many fragrances in both the designer and niche and indie games that this I feel like has been seen in some unisex or men's fragrances that have been on the niche side of things um, so I wouldn't really be too concerned about the, the labeling of it poor femme or whatever uh, man you can pull that off wholeheartedly because they're very similar fragrances when it comes down to it just that watery citrus vibe but let me kind of start to dissect uh, the reasons why they're different. So where this one kind of succeeds in my mind uh, with having a little bit more oomph to it and having a little bit more of an interesting combination of the citrus uh, tartiness with the sweet apple and the musk. Comes off very sensual, like a sensual summer night out. This however just plays it safe to me through and through. Now, don't misunderstand what I'm saying here, they're both very safe fragrances. But where this one has that nice sweet muskiness to it, this is just like, yeah, uh, I wanted to smell like something, so why not make it be like a watery linen type smell. Um, to me, this is a lot more chemically than, you know, its predecessor. And I, I, I'm not, I'm just gonna say, I fucking hate this. I hate it. Um, on me, I hate it. It does not represent a single bit of me <laughs> as a person, and uh, I don't like aquatics very much to begin with. Now, I'm sorry if this is like one of your favorite fragrances. My, my opinion should not affect how you feel about a fragrance. It's just my opinion. No big deal. Um, I'm sure that there's going to be a ton of people out there that, and I've heard it before, that hate Midnight in Paris, that hate Silver Factory, that hate Tobacco Vanille. Um, people in my own life hate some of those fragrances, and it's not really, that's not what it's about, it's about what you like. So, I hate this stuff. Um, I can smell it in small doses on other people, but there's like an element about this fragrance that comes off as like that, uh, oh, you're sitting on a, 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 a deck or whatever next to the lake with like that dirty water seaweed smell. It's not listed in the notes, and I, I don't want to say that it it's actually smells like seaweed, it's just the fact that it reminds me of that, like that salty air smell that you'd get, kind of like that breeze coming off the ocean. I hate it. I hate it in any fragrance. I do not like it. Um, and this does not take that avenue at all. Um, I believe that, I, I don't know if it's categorized as this or not, but this is more of a woody floral musk in my mind. Um, so if it is categorized as an, an aquatic, I think it's incorrectly categorized. This, however, is very much um, a, a aquatic. Now, to me, there's no comparison. The women's version is far, far better no matter what. I feel like if you stuck unisex on this, you'd be smelling it a whole lot more than you already do. Um, but let me now tell you why I don't like this in aquatics. Uh, I have never been impressed by those kinds of fragrances at all. The closest thing that I would wear to it would be like a Sauvage or a Bleu de Chanel or an Allure Homme Sport. Those have some oomph to them. They have some spice, they have some uh, creamy woods, they have some sweetness, some sandalwood, whatever, kind of paired with it. This is so, so linear and so boring. Um, I get it on my skin too. 
just that chemically dirtiness. I don't know. Not a fan. Whereas this is just sexy as heaven. You get the fluffy clouds and everything all. Oh, it's great. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. Now, that being said, who could pull off these fragrances? Anyone. Anyone, anytime, anywhere. It doesn't matter. Uh, these are for everybody um, because they are safe. They are not intrusive. Um, this one, if you spray it maybe three or four times, you smell it all day long. This one, I get three or four hours. So, anyone, any occasion, work beautifully. Um, definitely great gifts for the you know the the holiday season or birthdays or whatever. Um, you're not going to offend anybody with these, and they're both very solid releases. I don't want you to think that just because I don't like this, that doesn't mean I don't respect it. I do. Uh, it's good for its category. I just hate aquatics altogether. So that being said, um, I hope you all enjoy, and I will talk to you all later.